Hello each and every one of you. I'm just going to make a quick video here. What I want you guys to understand. This message is for my Somali people. And right now, I know you guys are aware the Gambia uh, National Assembly, they were talking about recognition for Somaliland, Hargisa. What I want you guys to understand, the information that I have is some diplomat, so, uh, some so-called diplomat from Somaliland, Hargisa, they come to Gambia. So they want the Gambia government to recommend them. That is the information that I have. So now they want to corrupt some MPs. Now they want the MPs to recommend them. And then now the UAE, the UAE is ready to phone some MPs and give them money so that those MPs can go and then say that they recommend Somaliland. That is what is going on. But let me tell you one thing that I want you guys to understand. Gambia government have nothing to do with this. The Gambia government told them that we have nothing to do with this. So, so right now what they are planning is, because of Gambia recommend Taiwan. You guys remember, Gambia is, uh, is the only country that recommend Taiwan as a country. That's why Gambia have an issue with China. So now they want to do the same strategy. So uh, that's why they went to Gambia. They want to phone the opposition uh, MPs, they give them money so that those people can support Hargisa, so that Somaliland can become a country that, you know, they, um, uh, uh, Gambia can support them. But the UAE is behind this, all this bullshit. UAE are the ones that are funding them. This is what I want you guys to understand. But my, my Somali people, calm down. Okay, some of you are sending me this video, some of you are attacking me. I see the video, but I'm going to tell you one thing. The Gambia, our government believes one Somalia, one country, one nation. The government is not going to get involved in uh, Somalia internal affairs. Stay tuned, I will come to Facebook Live, I will tell you more. Thank you, God bless you all. Honorable Speaker. The government of the Gambia has only granted recognition to the Republic of Federal Republic of Somalia. As a government, there are common positions in the international system to which we align ourselves. And given that the African Union and the United Nations have accorded recognition to only the Federal Republic of Somalia, we as a country shall abide by that. Moreover, the entity of Somaliland is not recognized by the United Nations. Yes. Honorable Minister, are you aware that the AU fact the mission report conducted between April 30 to 4 May 2005, which have highlighted tangible reasons and recommendations for the AU to, 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 to look into the matter of Somaliland? And as a government, and a member of the bloc, our sovereignty. Uh, uh, what, what, what plans do you have as a, as a government to look into the matter of Somaliland in the recognition process? The issue of Somaliland, as far as the government of the Gambia is concerned, is an internal problem, and the discussion will be held between Somalia. Yes, uh, Honorable Minister, I understand very well. What I'm saying is, as a sovereign state, Looking at the report being produced by the African Union as a country, can we take up the challenge to champion the negotiation between Somalia and Somalia? I think their neighbors are looking into that. You have the Prime Minister of Ethiopia and uh, their neighboring people within their region who are taking care of that. And if there is any party that is better placed to negotiate that, I think the African Union will invite that party to come in. But as of now, it's not in our strategic interest to get involved in that discussion. Honorable Member for Woolly West. Thank you, Honorable Honorable Minister, is Somaliland that he's talking about recognized by AU? I did not get the response. No, the Somaliland is not recognized by AU by any African. Uh, there is no African country that has given recognition to Somaliland. Yes, um, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Would the Honorable Minister confirm, as the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, whether there is any discussion that you are aware of at the level of the AU related to Somaliland? Are you aware of any discussion in relation to Somaliland? 
during all the meeting of the African Union that I attended, and as a PR also in New York, and I had the privilege to chair the group several times, the issue of Somaliland was never a part of our agenda. Thank you. Um, Central Badibu. Thank you, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Minister. I think your response are welcome. But Honorable Minister, um, I could fully remember Gambia was championing cause of Taiwan in the UN. So is it possible for us to also start seeing how to consider our fellow Africans who have been denied uh, of recognition? Is there any possible way of you know, starting to see how to champion their cause? You know, that was a strategic mistake of championing the cause of that country. And I don't think we, uh, history will judge us favorably if we start embarking on such a journey. I think it will be very irresponsible on the part of the government to talk about this issue. Ghana South. Thank you very much, uh, Madam, uh, Madam Speaker. Honorable Minister, um, during the AU summit you have been attending as the Foreign Minister, are you aware of any formal request from the Somaliland government regarding their issue between them and the Somalia? Not even once. And I told you at the level of the UN also, I've never heard about the issue of Somaliland. It's only here that it's been discussed. I don't know for whatever reasons, but I think we should be very careful with who we engage with as a country, especially as a, a member of FOSS, the Forum of Small States. We have to be very, very careful. Yes, Uli East. Honorable Speaker, um, is it wise for this National Assembly to start engaging Somalia when your government has not in any way been involved with Somalia. Is it advisable? I, I think I made it clear. It will be very irresponsible on our side to engage with Somalia. And as we speak, today is the National Day of uh, Somalia, the Federal Republic of Somalia. And if you have the chance, you can read through the, some of the stories of the BBC and those who can read French on RFI, and you will have a better understanding on, of what is going on there. 